hello guys welcome to my channel so today i'm going to show you how to make a six pieces skirt so this method is an updated method of drafting a six pieces skirt so we have the other method which we divide our measurement by six so for this method we'll be making use of our basic skirt pattern for this skirt pattern i'm just going to do some alterations so i'm going to extend this to my full length i'm working with so the full length i'm working with is 41 and a half inches and i want to make use of a band which is going to be one and a half inches so 41 minus one and a half inches that will leave me with 40 inches so the length i'm going to work with is 40 inches so this is from here to here this is the hip length and this is the knee length so the next thing i'm going to do is to place my tape like this and measure what I have here so this is 13 3 quarter so I'm going to extend what I have here to the hem this way so I'm going to mark 13 3 quarter at this point here so the next thing I'm going to do is to extend this so this is now a basic long skirt so at the top here I have my dots so from here to here is four and quarter so the next thing i'm going to do is to extend this dart line here all the way up onto the hem here so this is the waist and this is the hip this is the knee and our full length down here so i have a two inches seam allowance also here so the next thing I'm going to do is to cut this out. So I'll be cutting from this dart line all the way to the hem. But before I do that, I'm going to label this center front and this is side front. So after cutting, this is how it looks like. So I'll be using this panel to cut the center front and the center back. So while cutting the center front, my fabric is going to be on fold. And I'll be using this to cut the side front and the side back so i have my fabric here and it's on fold so the next thing to do is to determine how full you want the flare to be so i'm going to spread out with five and a half inches so once you know that you'll be adding what you have here to the measurement so that will help you know what you should fold so that you don't waste your fabric so I'm spreading out with five and a half inches. So I'll place this panel like this. So I'm going to mark the knee, which is here. So I've gone ahead to add the half inch seam allowance up onto the knee. I stopped at the knee. So the next thing I'm going to do is from this point, I'm going to connect all the way to the hem. So I'll place my ruler like this and connect to this point so at the hem here i'll be coming up by one inch so this is to reduce pointiness or sharpness so i'll be connecting with my cover I'll connect from this one inch all the way to this pattern paper so i'm just going to take this out and this is what we have so i'll be cutting from here all the way so this point then I'm going to curve and cut. So this is the center front. So the next thing I'm going to do is to cut the side front. So for the side, I'll be cutting the two panels together for the front piece so my fabric is on fold. So the next thing to consider is if you're working with a fabric that has a one-sided pattern or border, you have to make sure that your hem or your flare is going to be towards where your border is. For example, I'm working with a fabric that has a one-sided pattern. So you can see I'm cutting towards this way. So my flare or my extension is just going to be at this part and this side is going to be the waist side so instead of placing my pattern this way now so that my flare can be at this side i'm going to place it this way so my flare is going to be at this side where the pattern is so from here to here is my five and a half extension so i've already marked out the five and a half so i'll be placing my pattern like this 
and on this side i also mark five and a half inches so i mark five and a half this way so the next thing i'm going to do is to extend the knee at this point and this point here so this is the place i'll be joining to the center piece so at this point here i'll be doing like i did to the center piece i'm going to add half inch all the way up onto the knee and i'll connect from here to this extension here so i'm done adding the half inch seam allowance and i stopped at the knee here so the next thing i'm going to do is to take my ruler and connect to this five and a half inches extension so for this side i already have my two inches seam allowance on my pattern so i'm just going to trace what i have all the way to the knee then from the knee i'll connect to the five and a half inches here so the next thing i'm going to do is to work on this hem part so i'm going to step up by one inch like the way i did for the center front and on this part so i'll step up by one inch So I'm going to take my curve and I'll connect it to this point and I'll do the same thing to this side from here. So the next thing I'm going to do is to take this off and I'm going to cut this out. So I have my front panels completed. So this is the center front which is on fold and I have the two sides here. So the next thing I'm going to do is to cut the back pieces. So I'll be using this to cut the back panels. So the front and the back are the same thing, but the only difference is that the center back will be having a zipper allowance. So I've gone ahead to cut the back panels. So for the center back, I have a zipper allowance of one and a half inches all through. So for the center back, you will need to split into two because of the zipper. So you're going to have something like this. It should be in two pieces and the sides I'm going to have two pieces like this also just like the front so the next thing I'm going to do is to join the panels together but at this stage if you want to make use of a full lining you go ahead and cut your lining before you join the panels together so because I want to make use of a half lining I'm going to go ahead to join my panels together so after joining the panels together this is the front panel I want to cut out the lining so I folded the front panel into two and I also have my lining folded into two so these are the open ends and this is the folded end so I'll place it this way and I'm just going to cut out all the way like this for my half lining and I will stop one inch after the knee length so i'll be repeating the same process to the back panels so after attaching my lining this is what i have for the front piece so i'll just open it up so this is how it looks like so i have my back panel here as well so the next thing i'm going to do is to close up the back panel with the zipper allowance i have so once i'm done I'll be placing the panels right side facing each other then I'm going to shape. So why shaping? I wouldn't be shaping with the exact waist measurement because I want an elastic band at the sides of the skirt. So this is my skirt after closing up the side. I also went ahead to work on the hem pads and I also fixed the zipper at the back. So the next thing I'm going to do is to insert my band. So I have a band here which is the circumference of the waist I'm working with plus three inches. And the width of this band is four inches. I also went ahead to add the interfacing to it and I folded inwards by half an inch. So the band is just going to be like this. So I'm also going to be fixing an elastic by the two sides here because this is for an elderly person. So if you have to sew for an elderly person, it's advisable you fix two-sided elastic band. So I'm going to take the band like this, so I'm going to place it this way and sew all around with half of an inch. So guys, I'm done fixing the band at the waistline, so our six-piece skirt is practically ready. So I also went ahead to fix a two-sided elastic band at the side. So if you don't know an elastic band by the side and you want me to do a video on how to do this, please leave your comment in the comment section. So guys, I hope this video was helpful to someone out there. Please like, share and subscribe.